Hi everybody, um, I'm here to give you an update on what's been going on here in um, Poland, Warsaw. Um, as of now, I'm filming this on a on a Friday. Um, I actually filmed something on Tuesday, but a lot of brand new things have uh, occurred. So I just wanted to give a more uh, recent update. Um, so yeah, I just, first off, I just want to thank you everybody for your love, your support, your prayers. Um, it's definitely been needed and it's definitely been extremely powerful, especially um, just with opening new doors and God protecting us from situations. Um, it's just been radical being here. I've been here for already one week. I got in last Saturday. Um, I came from London um, and I got in at 10 in the morning and um, and right right from there, Pastor John picked me up. We um, went to our accommodation, we settled for a bit, I settled for a bit, took a shower, went out, went on my, I went on my own, I walked from where we're staying to uh, where the young people were, Masha and Lisa invited me to come over to um, hang out with their young people and um, it was just, it was such an awesome time hanging out with the young people, the Polish and Ukrainian young people, well mo main, mostly most of them are Ukrainian, but um, it was just awesome hanging out with them and just being in, just being with them and just not all of them speak English, so I wasn't able to talk to a lot of them. But for the ones that do speak English, I was able to have some super awesome conversations with and just hearing their stories and it was it was amazing. Um, so a lot of them have are boy are have different situations so. Some of them are, uh, most of them were are Ukrainian. Um, some of them have been living in Poland, Warsaw for, for a couple of years. Um, and some situ some of them, uh, came are refugees. So they came during when the war started in March. So you know situations differ f amongst uh, amongst the the youth, um, and even with the refugees, a lot of them came by themselves some of them came with their family some of them came as a family but their fathers are in the war fighting um so you know it's just been that's just like not even a glimpse of you know what i'm what i'm sharing with you is not even it's not even a fraction or what but you know just to give you guys an idea what's what 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 we're dealing with and um just hearing a lot of stories just hurt my heart and um you just to see them having to struggle these young people like who are just you know it's 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 different it's cliche it sounds you know it's different when you're actually here than hearing stories on facebook and whatnot so um it's definitely been eye-opening and um god has definitely taken me to another level of learning to see things from his perspective rather than a more human perspective and just learning how to talk with these young people especially and just you know um know how to help them and encourage them so yeah so i did that the first thing i arrived um and then that evening masha and lisa lisa um took me to this seminar thing that's been going on for ukrainian churches and so they just told me asked me to just come along just to see how it's like to to um just experience the um the the ukrainian church so it was a conference that was going on um and um something super random happened but super amazing i, mean, I thought i thought it was pretty cool um i actually met ivanka trump's secretary um and that was i thought it was pretty cool um i never would have thought i'd be able to meet her secretary um but yeah um i didn't get to talk much to her but i'm hoping i get to meet her again so you know i can build a connection with her and hopefully you know do more um do more with her in the future let's see so i'm praying that <laughs> that would happen um just you know getting to her. she's young as well she's only 23 she's barely working with ivanka trump since she was 19 so you know, young, there's so many ton of young people around here. And um, so 
uh, that happened and um, actually Ivanka Trump is um, she is sponsored some vans for this organ she sponsored a couple of uh, a dozen of vans or something for this organization called City Serve, and w what they do is they send in supplies, provision, medicine, food, clothes, hygiene products, all sorts of that kind of thing, in and they send send it into Ukraine um, with these vans. So um, uh, Ivanka Trump sponsored them, and um, it was pretty cool that what what she did. It was nice to know that she's been supporting, and I don't know if she's still here. But, um, yeah, that's been great. Um, but other than that, um, God has been so faithful. God has, you know, um, connections day, day after day. In the morning, Pastor and I are like, we go for breakfast in the morning together. And we're like, we have no idea what this day is going to consist of. Just because of how, how random, spontaneous would be the right word. How spontaneous things have been happening. We would go one place and something would, we would talk to some person and more things would, would, um, you know, come up. And, um, so on Sunday, Sunday, yeah, um, Sunday or Monday, something like that, um, Pastor John got an email from Johnson and Johnson from Canada and they were asked, they were saying that they would like to deno donate, um, some some things and so uh they they would like to date 24 pallets of medicine they would like to and they're uh they're gonna give us um hundred thousand pounds of flour i the numbers uh confuse me all the time but i i will put it in the subtitles i mean i'll caption it if i'm getting this wrong hundred thousand pounds of flour uh and um something hundred thousand pounds of frozen meat so that includes like beef pork chicken and turkey frozen products so that's an insane amount of things and um so we're we have we, it's awesome that we that they are giving this to us but we also have no idea how to how you know where this is going to go and where we're going to store all these things and how it's going to get from canada all the way to warsaw or where it may be and then next, and then on Tuesday we find out about on Monday or Tuesday something we find out about this war about this warehouse. Tuesday we visit this warehouse. Long story short, we get to know the people. We build a connection. Um, next thing we know, they are open to taking in all of the um, uh, um, the the donations that Johnson and Johnson is giving us. Um, they have also have. Uh, frozen sh uh, shelving um, thingies <laughs> um, where they will be able to store a lot of the fro the frozen meats that we'll be getting to and it's just been amazing how things have just been you know things have just been happening and um, um, you know how God ordained it's been um, and um, um, Wednesday no sorry Thursday, uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, Pastor John and I went to this, um, refugee camp, and, um, I'm, we didn't post anything just because we, well, I think that, well, I just feel like it, sh it wouldn't be a good, good idea to post stuff just because you don't want to invade their privacy as well, it's their only place where they actually get to be a a alone and just have their own space, but maybe I'll, I'll post a couple pictures just to get an idea of what's hap of of the of the camp that we went to yesterday but you know it broke my heart just just seeing just seeing the condition of this you know this seeing the the people you know struggle and hurt and um you know they're they're they need Jesus and we're here to bring Jesus to them we're here to bring the gospel to them they need it most and um so we're here to do that and um yeah today um we were supposed today's friday and um we were supposed to go into kiev but um <laughs> our car broke down we were supposed to go in with a van load of supplies food um health hygiene products medicine we we're that was a van load of products we we're supposed to go into kiev as well with us 
but um the car that we were supposed to go in um broke down in a way we think that might have been a blessing honestly just because of how anything could have happened and maybe god saved us so we are looking forward for to know why and um we know everything works according to his plan so pastor john and i were talking they're like no feelings towards towards it um we have patience so we're actually we're we're supposed to go on monday but today when we were we were went out for food um he got a call pastor john got a call from the government um in ukraine and they were saying that they felt bad about what had happened so they're sending a car to pick us up on sunday morning and they'll be taking us to kiev so how awesome is that how only god can you know create these things and just pastor john meeting the right hand man of zelensky was, was a whole nother story that can be shared another time but it's just been connections that we just meet in the most random places where we're staying on the street so these things are not like oh email or calling people and calling people and, uh, these are just people that we're just meeting down the street and down the eye the the corridor and whatnot so it's been so amazing um i've also been personally it's been um eye-opening hearing a lot of their stories um we were able to talk to a lot of some of them some of them we don't um uh for some of them they don't speak english so <laughs> believe it or not but we use google translate to talk to uh to a lot of them and through the through the tool of google translate we have received so many powerful um stories and we've heard so many amazing um stories of people and just how you know well not not amazing but you know heart-wrenching and heartbreaking stories but you know we're still able to connect with them through the tool of uh, google translate and um it's been amazing just um hearing from them just seeing things firsthand just it breaks my heart but i'm also so excited for what God, what God is going to do, and how God's going to bless these individuals, how God's going to bless this nation, um, the people, is, the people of this nation. Um, I love them so much, honestly. I love these people. I love the people. They're the kind. They're probably the kindest people I've ever met. They're so, they're they're full of grace, so humble, and they, they would do anything for you. I mean, they would go the extra mile, and I love this people. I love these people so much, and. Um, I'm so excited to go into Ukraine. Uh, by, by the time you're seeing this, we're probably uh, about uh, going to leave. So um, I'm excited. Keep us in your prayers. I mean, your power, your the power of prayer. There is power in prayer. So, you know, keep us for safety protection, but also to meet the awesome people, um, people that we would least expected, that we would least expect. Speaking of today, um, Pastor John met this person a couple days ago, but I, I never actually met him. But today, um, I was talking to this guy, and come to find out, um, he's a Polish ambassador for Ukraine. And we began talking, and he actually invited me and Pastor John to, to for dinner, and um, and he will be inviting a bunch of his friends. So I'm looking forward towards for that, um, like <laughs> Polish ambassador for Ukraine. Like, how is <laughs> person like me that that's this tiny being able to meet someone that is you know so great and what or whatnot and um you know just having the privilege to just experience this is amazing you know not everybody gets the opportunity to do this so i'm i'm very grateful and um you know i'm just thankful to god that i'm able to do this as well and um you know, I yeah, um, there's so much I can say, and I can't wait to come back home and share more with you. But this has just been a glimpse. I've also been able to expand in my career aside from mission. I've also been able to expand from uh, expand in my career in in terms of like video production and becoming a movie director and all these things. Um, I've, there are a lot of people where we're staying that are filmmakers and film directors, so I've been able to meet some of them, and I'm gonna meet with more of them. In the coming days while we're here and um hopefully i can expand my career 
from there and um, they can help me out <laughs> so and I've also been um, asked to do a lot of uh, video work for a lot of missionaries that are here um, and um, honestly it's all God's grace and um, I'm just so thankful for all of you I miss you guys I love you guys and um, I can't wait to share more with you so that's it for now but I can't wait every week you'll be seeing more updates and I'm can't wait to update you guys from Ukraine. Um, so much sending sending our love from Pastor John and myself. And I um, can't wait to see you guys. Quickly. I'm editing this and um, I'm sorry that I look really sad for most of it, but I I'm, I'm promise you I'm super excited about a lot of the things. So don't mind, don't mind my calmness in this. <laughs>